Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is digital cell phone dollar. Let me say it again. A digital cell phone dollar, illegals stealing oil, and a new American flag. India is to start trading with Russia outside of the SWIFT to avoid the Western sanctions. Okay, so America, evil people in America and control of our dollar, are causing these problems. The era of the U.S. dollar dominance is coming to an end as the East takes control over the West. The next domino to fall is trade between India and Russia, which is now being conducted almost exclusively with local currencies rather than Federal Reserve notes because of Western sanctions. In other words, <laughs> when you tell Russia that they can't trade with the dollar anymore, so what is the whole nation going to do? Shut down, start crying, and walk away? Just close up shop? No. They have to start a new currency. And right now, it's up to 159 nations that are about to start cooperating and trading with Russia. In other words, people in America are killing the American dollar. That's what it's saying. Because Western sanctions that prohibit Russia from using the international SWIFT system for cross-border payments and settlements, Russia came up with a new system for transfer of financial messages, which works as a viable alternative. So, <laughs> Russia's just not going to shut down. They have to come up with another alternative, thanks to the Federal Reserve and the cabal that is running America and actually the rest of the world. Wanting in on the action, India is considering, well, from other articles, we know they're not considering it. It's about to go live. Supposedly, the rumor is in October. India is considering using the SPFS as well, which would completely exclude the United States and other Western powers from all trade that takes place between India and Russia. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so what we're about to do is lose, lose all trade with India and Russia, if I'm understanding what that article just said. That's another reason I recommend you call 800-200-GOLD. These are good Christians, and they can help you if you want to get gold, silver, or other precious metals. But if you have an IRA, I hope you're listening, if you have an IRA or 401k, and if the dollar falls, as prophecies say, if the stock market falls, as prophecies say, then if your money is in paper, as Lindsey Williams was told by the elite, that if your money is in paper, IRA, 401k, it is worth the paper it's written on. Now, I can't give financial advice, but these folks can. It does not hurt. It does not cost you anything. Call them and say, look, it, here's my situation. Am I okay? Or do you have a better solution? That's a that's wisdom. Just call them and say, okay, what do you got? Can you help me? See what they can do. 800 200 gold. Armed Venezuelan gangs. Oh, you mean the ones that Biden let in? Yeah, 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 okay. We've been talking about this. Some of the people will start fighting against the government. We've been talking about this since 1988, and now here it is biting us. Armed Venezuelan gangs terrorizing America's top oil field in Texas. That's right. This is like <laughs> the biggest, almost the biggest oil field in the world. Definitely the biggest oil field in America. And guess what's happening? Venezuelan gangs are taking it over. Now, it doesn't say that directly. We know that that's coming. It says Texas-based oil and gas company issued a memo to its employees notifying them that both local law enforcement and the FBI are aware of migrant gangs from both Venezuela and Cuba that are committing thefts and other crimes in the Permian Basin. Okay, so Venezuela and Cuba, are they capitalists or are they communists? Uh, they would be communists. Okay, so you mean some of these people that came across our southern border were not just women with children looking for a new life and a better job? You mean some of them might have actually had dastardly bad intentions? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so what was their real objective? Now, all of the people I hear talk on TV and other places are all saying, oh, well, the, the reason Biden let all these, some 20 million, whatever the number really is, into America is because eventually they want to give them voting status. And because they were allowed to come into America, they're going to vote Democrat because they're evil. They're going to vote Democrat because no Christian would vote Democrat, right? Okay. Okay, so what do they do? They just let 20 million Democrats in. And what does that mean? That means if we give them legality to vote, there will never be another Republican victory. In other words, we'll lose our country, but there's something more. They also let these military age men in. They gave them cell phones. They gave them debit cards. What does that mean? At some time, by the way, some of them were encrypted cell phones. Why would they give them encrypted cell phones unless they're planning to do something wrong that they don't want other people to know? Okay, so here's the way my guess is it works. Can't prove this, but I guess it works like this. Okay, we'll let you come in. We'll give you a debit card, $5,000 a month or something like that. Put you up in nice hotels. But when the phone rings, we call you to go to a training camp or we call you to go out and blow something up. You got to do it. And if you get killed in the process, we're going to take care of your family. What a deal. You watch. It's about to get a whole lot worse. Okay, let's go on. Industry peers and law enforcement West Texas are aware of the recent increase in organized criminal activity, inclusive of violent crimes, gang activity, oil field thefts in and around West Texas. That's where I grew up, West Texas. These individuals and groups are armed, violent in nature, and will not hesitate to use force. The memo goes on to say, the theft's going to be oil, diesel, copper wire, catalyst. Okay, what's this with copper wire? Well, Sometimes people go up to air conditioners that cost $10,000, and that's the residential ones. The business ones cost a whole lot more, and they take out the copper and go sell it. Now, maybe they get a couple of hundred dollars for the copper, but you spend another ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for a new air conditioner. Also, copper wire they pull out of houses or abandoned houses. Oh, let's go on. Recent incidents have also included two assaults by water haulers, water haulers. In other words, the tanks are normally used to haul water, only they're attempting to steal oil from the West Texas oil sites. In other words, they're trying to hurt us financially. After the thieves were observed by witnesses who drove up to investigate, the thieves attempted to use their vehicles to kill the people. In another incident, a thief acting as a spotter and following a water hauler who had stolen oil also attempted to run the witness so... <laughs> If they catch them, they just kill the people that caught them. Oh, surely they wouldn't do that. I mean, those nice people coming across the borders? Yeah, and it's about to get worse. The article goes on to say illegals control America. It should be noted that Texas is not a sanctuary state. As a matter of fact, I live in the DFW area. I've lived in Texas most of my life. And we Texans don't put up with that. But we can't stop it because there's so many of them and there's so few cops. The Permian Basin, where illegal migrants are running amok stealing things. Alien migrants terrorize Aurora, Colorado, we've heard about. Suburb of Denver is also illegal aliens are everywhere. It almost does not matter who wins the election, because right now, the damage is already done. They're already in our nation. Next article, Reuters is being ordered to print fake news to manipulate the oil market and keep fuel prices artificially low. Why? Because they want you to vote for now, not Biden, but now Harris. So every time the powers that be are at risk of losing big time on their elections, here's what they do. They see that the prices of oil go down. That's essentially what it's saying. And they printed an article that this article says is not exactly accurate to get the price of oil to stay low. They wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, they would do that. Next article. A Washington think tank says Ukraine's biometric digital ID is a model of success for other nations to replicate. Remember, I've been telling you. See, 
the news are trying to tell us, oh, Ukraine, that poor little Ukraine, those are nice people. And the Russians, those big old mean Russians are going over there and they're, they're attacking those nice little Ukrainians. We need to send them help. Well, first of all, Russia, in a lot of ways, I'm not going to sit here and say they're perfect and they are the nation that will eventually destroy us, but most of the blood is on our hands and the Nazis started in Kazakhstan and Ukraine in that area, then it graduated to Switzerland, then it graduated to Germany. In World War II, that's who our boys were fighting. They were fighting the Nazis, which originated and still are in Ukraine. You mean Ukraine's bad people? Absolutely. Among the worst. Okay, so is it surprising that Ukraine would come up with a digital ID for the world? No, it's not surprising to me at all. So Ukraine's digital ID app, called DIA, is increasingly viewed as a model for other nations. Surely not. DIA is also being used to procure, procure and facilitate public services, electronic payments, oh, it gets worse, to warn the country has acted as a gateway and testing ground to see just how effective, in other words, to start introducing it to society. Watch this. The date, right, the, the data right now is the DIA portal has registered more than 21.7 million users. What? That's a lot. With more than 70 government digital services available. So what does it offer? Well, right now, it's only offering 14 digital documents. What does that mean? In other words, what it, where it's coming to is your cell phone. Your cell phone will be your ID card, is what it says, your passport, your student ID, driver's license, vehicle registration, your insurance policy, your tax, your Social Security card, your birth certificate, and your IDP certificate, whatever that is and 21 other services, all in your cell phone. <laughs> are you the only one saying this? No, here's another one. States are beginning to adopt, here in the United States, are beginning to adopt digital driver's licenses. Why? Because it's not going to stop just with one. It's going to have everything all in your cell phone. That's the reason you might want to go to prophecyclubbar.com, get you one of these. Now, I finally figured out how to show you the size. Okay, so this is a credit card. Okay, and it's actually what I use to access a, 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 a hotel room. But it's the same size as a credit card. So if you put it up next to these prepper bars, you can see. Now, of course, they're, there's plastic around them. So it's just a little bit, just, just a little bit bigger than a credit card. So one of these can slip right into your purse, right into your billfold. You can carry it with you. And the advantage to one of these prepper bars is you can break it. Okay, if you don't want to get, let's say the price of silver goes to say $100 to keep it around. And you just have to pay someone $20. Well, with these prepper bars, you can break that into a quarter, down into an eighth, one into a half. You can break it in pieces to pay someone in silver. So that's really important. <clears throat> Excuse me, really important. You go to prophecyclubbar.com. 844 771 1776. And that's a picture of how it just fits right in with your other credit cards <clears throat> to carry with you. And this gives you all the details about it. Now let's move on. Okay. U.S. debt payments are the top defense budget. In other words, America is sending more money to the international bankers every year than we spend on the military budget. Why is that important? The next article explains. They're saying that the world should begin to ditch the dollar, as we were talking about. Russian security chief says, because countries cannot rely on the currency of a nation with a multi-trillion dollar debt, you got to walk away from the dollar. That's what they're saying. Washington's abuse of the dollar is a major selling point for BRICS. So a lot of these countries are switching from the dollar over to the BRICS because they don't trust the dollar anymore, with good reason. It is now obvious for everyone that whatever savings they may end up with in someone else's pocket, they may end up in someone else's pocket other than their own. Here's what my white hat banker says. He says we should be watching three things. 
we should be watching the military, I assume, well, actually, I know, <laughs> that's massive arrests. We should also be watching the White House and the election and also the dollar, specifically the fall of the dollar. He's in positions to know what he's talking about. Now, let's talk about that new digital checkbook. I've said your cell phone is not your friend. It's not your friend. Now, I've already read this a couple of times, but I think it's really important. Now, this came to an 11-year-old 11 11 -old child, one of our members of our, of our congregation, and I talked to him. He said, look, we, we quizzed him back and forth for a couple of hours, and his story never changed. But how would an 11-year-old know this? He wouldn't. He plays digital games all day long and goes to school. They wouldn't know about this. So I think this is of God. So anyway, in the dream, I'm over at my grandfather's house, and he wakes and has a T-shirt on that says, Cash is King, meaning... Yeah, I better have some cash, and I'm not talking about paper dollars, okay? Grandpa's favorite saying, in the dream, I sensed that the dollar bill crashed and was no good anymore. Then the dream cuts to people walking on the street with nice clothes, meaning this doesn't come on gradually, it happens overnight. Nice clothes, but somehow I knew, money-wise, they were poor. Somehow I knew this was a depression-like in the history books. Only people had nice clothes instead of old clothes. I saw people in hands at this electronic device about the size of a cell phone. If you turn it sideways, it was a checkbook, but all digital. I've never seen anything like it. It was like an iPad and a cell phone all together, but it was not a cell phone. You couldn't play games. You couldn't make a phone call. It was strictly for currency. You could buy anything if you had enough of this digital currency, but you could not sell anything. Now, we know that eventually it's going to be buy and sell, because Revelation 13 says, No man might buy or sell, save he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Not everyone had equal amounts of this new currency. New currency, we've talked about that, that's coming. It's coming. You better get, I'm, better get yourself prepared, I'm telling you. Only people like President Biden or Elon Musk, very, very famous people, had a lot of this new digital currency. Only a few of your average people had very little, just enough digital currency to buy the basics for one day of their lives. Well, that's what Revelation 13 says, too. The rest of the people had no digital currency, but still had the digital checkbook, but with nothing in it. Remember Revelation 6.6 6 says, excuse me, 6.6 6 says, a measure of wheat for a penny, three measures of barley for a penny. One of the interpretations is you work all day long just to get food for one day. Then the dream cut back to Grandpa. My Grandpa says to himself while looking out the window, there is no way this is happening. There are too many rules in place. In other words, the rules are in place to see that the dollar doesn't fall, the stock market doesn't fall. Don't stop it from falling. Then the dream cuts again to me and Grandpa in a war zone. I said, Grandpa, get down because people are shooting at us. The soldiers had blonde hair and blue eyes with very pale skin. I could not tell what country they were from. We had dived into a trench with American soldiers, but the foreigners captured our area and took Grandpa prisoner. Somehow they knew that he had a lot of cash. I was lying in the trench scared. Somehow I knew that Grandpa had died of stress and I felt very bad from a grandpa, the dream ends. Cell phones are not your friend. Better get some, not paper cash, either digital, digital's not available yet, or get yourself some gold and silver. Now, I read this before too, but I think it fits. So this is Brandon, Brandon of last days, his last name is Biggs. This is the guy that saw uh, President Trump shot in the right ear, blood on his ear, about three months before it happened. The Lord showed me an American flag. The flag transformed into a hundred dollar bill waving in the wind. Suddenly it transformed, in, transfer, transformed into a digital code, almost like a crypto code. It was moving like it was alive. It was like internet math code. It kept moving and moving. And I said, Lord, what is this? The Lord said, the dollars about to turn into a digital dollar. He said it would be worth half 
what it's worth right now. Now, remember, we've heard other places, dollar goes down 30%, 30% to zero. Worthless as leave blowing in the wind. So a $100 bill would be worth about $50. Then he showed me the banks all went bankrupt. Okay, if we got to go to a new system, that has to happen, right? And he said all of the money that was in the banks, whether you were rich or poor, the banks seized it all. Have you been getting notices either on your cell phone or in your email or maybe in the mail that says you need to agree to our new policy changes? Well, I've been sent some emails that says, have you ever read the policy changes? Because here's what some of the policy changes says. It says that if the bank gets upside down and starts to fail, they can take your money into the bank to pay off the bank's bills. I've got a couple of different articles on that. So the banks seized it all. So you better believe that can happen. All the money in the banks was seized. It was now the property of the bank. Now you remember the World Economic Forum says that by 2030, you will own nothing, but you'll be happy. How is it that they can take ownership of all of our cars, our lands, our houses, and our bank accounts? Bingo. We better be listening. All the money in the banks was seized. It was now the property of the bank. I don't know how, but somehow they seized all the money in the banks. People lost it all. Prophecyclubgold.com or 800-200-GOLD. Loans that you have on your house, your cars, everything. I saw that they took all of it. In other words, this is the way they're going to get all of our cars, all of our houses, all of our land, Anything that's not paid off, you might say anything's not tied down, it's going to blow away. They called it a debt jubilee because they couldn't foreclose and take everybody's houses and everybody's cars because the dollar crashed. So they just wiped it all out and created a whole new digital platform. This is the guy that saw Donald Trump shot in the ear three months before it happened. Uh, we'd be wise to listen. Then the Lord showed me lines of people standing at Target stores. This is the same thing we've had several other people see, okay? Dana Coverstone, several of them. Target stores trying to get food. They weren't dressed like they were in poverty-looking clothes. Same thing the kids saw. They still had nice clothes on. It was like the money had left suddenly. Just what the kids said. It was like the money had left suddenly. It was like it happened overnight. Just like David Phillips said, people were in the lines in Target and Walmart. Lines were like a mile long. There was no products. There was no food. Hmm. There was hardly anything left in the stores. People were waiting just to get whatever they could get. I could see them all in a single file line that stretched forever. He showed me certain cryptocurrencies that would go up in value. He also showed me certain things that would happen with gold and with silver. Well, Shane Warren was told that silver is going to skyrocket far more than gold. He showed me the euro. The euro would be in trouble because of what is going on in Europe and the Ukraine war. Oh, surely not. I was all, it was all going to happen like dominoes, falling one after another quickly. So the question is, are you ready? First, ask Jesus into your heart. That's most important. Second, get to reading your Bible. Third, get yourself in church. Walk into that church, not with this attitude like, well, let's see if you can impress me. See if you can get me excited. Talk me into coming back. Instead, why don't you find a church where you say, you know what? you got to find one you believe is a godly church. And then you say, I'm, I'm going to come. I'm going to help this church grow. I'm going to help build this church. Because if you help God's kingdom grow, you take care of God's kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. Then all of these other worldly things will be taken care of. Get yourself ready. It's coming. And several prophecies say, one from Barry Wunsch says, it's going to start 2024. We will see. Get prepared. In 2021, I started making bread, and long story short is I believe God showed me that wheat is God's famine food, just like it was famine food 
back in the seven years of plenty, seven years of famine, days of Pharaoh and Joseph. And I believe that that's what God has planned to feed his people. And you get it by going to josephskitchen.com. Three steps. First, you want to get a machine package. Second, you want to order six ingredients and watch some videos, download the recipes to be able to make the bread. josephskitchen.com. Most of your long-time storage food, emergency food, all of that. Typically, you're talking $9,000, $10,000 to feed one person for a year. Joseph Kitchen can show you how to do it for around $1,000 a person, and your kids will actually eat it, and it's actually good for you. Here's some bread that I made. In my case, I lost weight, lowered my blood pressure, gives me more energy. I eat a morning, uh, slice in the morning, slice in the afternoon. There's always a slice before I go play racquetball. Go check it out josephskitchen.com. When the suitcase nukes, I didn't say if, I said when the suitcase nukes go off, if you want your car to start, if you want your computers and your refrigerators and things like that, anything with a computer chip to work, you want to have one of these from empshield.com. empshield.com. And they have videos up there. It takes about 10 minutes to put on. It's not complicated at all. And if you use the word Prophecy, promo code Prophecy, you get a $50 discount and it helps your Prophecy Club. Okay, the very best offer we have ever had of the Prophecy Club is 40 books for a gift of $100. That is, uh, How Pre-Trib One, Tribulation Secrets in Daniel, God's Warnings to America, Miss the Mark, and The Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy. I'll explain. As I've said many times in 2017, I memorized the book of Revelation. I got 30 revelations, two visions, and an audible voice. God showed me a secret door, the word first fruits, which is found in Leviticus and also Revelation that links the feasts to the prophecies of Revelation. And perhaps for the first time, Revelation can be understood. One prophetic word said, there's a lock. I put over a word in the book of Revelation. I'm going to open it to you. It will turn many books written on the end time message into obsolete books. That's this book. Secondly, I put together a collection of the very best prophecies from 30, 32 years in Bible prophecy. Dimitri Dudema, Michael Baldale, Leslie Johnson, Henry Groover, Shane Warren, Terry Bennett, Maurice Scalar, Augusto Prez, Doug Metzger, Bree Keaton, and more in God's Warnings to America. Also, how do you talk to people about the mark of the beast, especially if they worship another god? Well, simple way is give them this book. It's a quick read. takes about three hours to read it. But if they'll read two or three pages, they'll probably read the book. And if they read the book, they will never take the mark of the beast. It explains both the mark of the beast and also the number of the name. And it has these pictures in the book. Finally, how pre-trib one. This book explains the truth about the rapture. It gives four foundations for the real truth about the rapture. It also answers 25 pre-trib questions, one for 20, each one of these typically, but don't do that. We offer them in shrink wrap sets. The very best deal is go to prophecyclub.com and get the entire 40 book set for $100. I didn't cover every verse in the book of Daniel, didn't need to. I just covered the verses that has to do with us end time saints. And it's called Tribulation Secrets in Daniel. One for 20, 10 for 30, 20 for 50 at prophecyclub.com.